I'm Jen Runyon. We're here at Power Gen 2019, and I'm talking to Greg here about the future of power generation, because we're at Power Gen. Absolutely. So talk to me about what Black & Veatch is focused on right now. Black & Veatch is focused on um, mainly helping our customers solve their power demand needs, both from generation and, and transmission. Um, you know, there's a huge uh, growth market in, in renewables and distributed energy. So we've yeah. reorganized our, our company to, to address that market specifically as long as well as supporting the uh, conventional generation in coal, gas, and nuclear. It's mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, it's a world, we're a global company, so we look at all kinds of markets, not just North America. Yeah. And in other parts of the world, coal is needed, but there's still a lot of pressure on coal from a financing perspective where their banks just won't finance it anymore. Oh, so we'll, we're, that'll be a real dynamic change for Asia specifically, uh, other parts of the developing world. Mm -hmm. But here in America, um, we have a very robust um, renewables business that's started off, and um, we are in the process of, a, I think we have eight active solar fields under construction right now. So it's been a big change. It's doubled year over year. Um, my boss wants me to double it again in two years, All so right. well, that's that's where that. our product, that's where we're headed. <laughs> cool, so. cool. So, is that where you see the opportunities for growth then in renewables or in other areas? So we see opportunities for growth specifically in renewables, mm -hmm. but we we think that as battery as energy storage kind of develops over the next five to ten years, one of the uh, avenues to get deployment of renewables more quickly mm -hmm. is to have it backstop with natural gas. Natural gas yeah. is still a very viable resource, low cost, low energy, very responsive. It's the kind of thing you need to backstop a, a large renewable fleet. Um, if, if you look at where we're projecting generation to come, but more than 50% of the generation over the next 10 years is likely to come from either wind or solar, with solar mm -hmm. kind of leading the way. Wow, wow. All right, well, so I know Black & Beach has a pretty cool microgrid on your own campus. What do you think the opportunity is for microgrids? Do you think we'll see more of those going forward? Yeah, so one of the um, businesses that we have stood up, so our... Black & Beach does a number of things with a, a whole different set of customers, not just power, but telecom and other places. So the whole microgrid concept has been something we've been involved with for a number of years now. We've stood up an official company, or business line within our company, to pursue that market specifically, though, um, to help our clients figure out how to get um, sustainable, reliable, and affordable energy. Sometimes that's behind the meter and that involves a microgrid. There's a number of known projects in the United States where that's kind of taken hold. We're involved with a number of them. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say what the clients are, but one I will tell you about is um, JP Morgan Chase, okay. famous bank, right? Sure. Um, they came to us about 18 months ago. And we negotiated a contract to put on their branches, 1,500 branch offices, rooftop solar. Oh, to cool. take them off the grid. Wow. Um, wow. It's amazing. You know, our other solar projects may be a year, year and a half long. These are something like four to six months per. You get in, you do the engineering, yeah. you, you put the thing in, you start it up, and, and we're off to the next branch. And there you go. So, and we're in about tranche three of eight in that process. That's so a very it's cool exciting. project. Yeah. yeah, yeah, love to hear about that. Okay, so last question is about on energy storage. Yes. What What is your company seeing on energy storage? Are your Are your customers asking for it? Absolutely, the customers are asking for it. We've done several small energy storages in the form of batteries. Yep. You know, we're not a battery manufacturer. Right. We are more of an integrator. Right. Um, and so they've asked us to come and help put them, put the systems together, get the right um, reliability, get the right interconnection between that and the grid and whatever the energy generation source is. Mm. Um, and so we've done quite a bit of that on an engineering and we were are, are just been awarded to uh, actual EPC contracts in battery storage, which are more utility size. Nice. Can't announce where quite yet, Dying but we're really out. excited yeah. about that. Um, and we see that as the, the a really strong process or market going forward. Um, but energy storage is likely to be more than just batteries. Okay. As battery technology improves, it will it will, it will have a, a very large share. But there's things like hydrogen compressed air storage, there's a number of other technologies that are being investigated and developed. What I love about the American people and the power market is that we're very innovative. We're gonna come up with the right solution that delivers reliable electricity. Awesome, well on that note, we're gonna close. Thanks so much for coming out to Thank talk you. to me. Thank you, appreciate you having me. I'm Jen Runyon here at PowerGen 2019.